Hey guys, in this video we're going to show you how to create this cool fade in animation. Typically you see these when you're scrolling down a website. For this tutorial, I'm only going to show you how to create the animation and I'm going to create a part two showing you how to activate it when you're scrolling down a website. All right, let's get started. So we're going to create a container where the three images are going to go. And we're going to give those a class name of animated. We're also going to include another class name in here for the animation. Let's copy this twice. And we're going to change this to fade in top and this to fade in right. So the image on the left is going to come in from the left to the right. The image in the center is going to come in from the top to the center and the image on the right is going to come in from the right to the left. All right, we're going to turn the body into a flex box. That way the images are nice and centered in the middle of the screen. So let's use justify content center, align item center. Let's give it a height of 100 VH and we're going to use overflow hidden. So none of these features are necessary for this animation. We're just adding these for demonstration purposes. All right, the container where the images are stored, we're also going to turn into a flex box because we want the images to be displayed in a row. So let's use justify content center. We don't want them so close together. So we're going to give them a gap of 10 pixels. In the animated class, we have to indicate the width and the height of the images. We're going to go with 400 pixels for the width, the height. Let's go with 221. All right. Now let's make sure that our image is perfectly centered within this container. So we're going to use background position center, background size cover, and let's include the image. So go ahead and add an image in here. It could be an image that you have on your computer or you can add a link. I'm gonna add a link. So I already have three links here. That way I don't have to spend time looking for an image. So I'm just gonna paste it in here. All right, that's the first image. And for the second one, we're gonna use nth child. Let's include a two in here. We can copy this. But for this one, we're going to use the other link here. All right, and we can copy this one more time. Let's change this to three. And I'm going to copy this last one here. And if you guys want to know where I got these images, I got them from pexels.com. So you guys can check out that website. All right. There are three images. Now we have to create the animation effects. So we have three. We're going to start with this one called fade and left. All right. So we have to make sure that this animation works on all of the browsers. We're going to start with WebKit animation, which is going to make it work on Safari four and up. So let's use WebKit animation. Let's include the name of the animation. We're going to call it fade and left. It's going to last 1.2 seconds and we're going to use both. All right. Let's copy this three times. We're going to change this from WebKit to MOZ. This is going to make it work on Firefox version five and up. Let's change this to an O. This is going to make it work on Opera version 12 and up. And we're going to remove the WebKit on this one. And this is going to make it work on Internet Explorer 10 and up and also Firefox version 29 and up. All right. So we have all that set up. Now we have to create the animation for each one of these. All right, for that, we're going to need the app. 
let's add WebKit keyframes. Let's type in the name of the animation. And we're going to copy this three times again. So we're going to change this to Moz keyframes. This is O keyframes. And this one is just going to be keyframes. All right, let's go in here and create the animation. So at 0%, which is at the beginning of the animation, opacity is going to be zero. And let's use WebKit transform. With translate X, negative 50 pixels. And at a 100% of the animation, which is at the end of 1.2 seconds, we want the opacity to be one. We're going to use WebKit transform again, translate X, and now that's going to be a zero. So basically what's happening here is right at the beginning of the animation, this is going to be negative 50 pixels. And at the end of the animation, which is going to be at 1.2 seconds, it's going to be here. So it's going to start off negative 50 pixels and it's going to end up here. All right, that takes care of the WebKit keyframes for the first WebKit animation here. Now we have to just copy and paste this into the other ones. The only thing we're going to change is this WebKit. So this is going to be MOZ. This is going to be an O. And for the last one, we don't need the WebKit. It could just say transform. All right, so we just added the animation for all of the browsers. And now if we refresh this, the animation works. All right, now we have to create the animation for these two. For those two, I'm not going to create these WebKit keyframes for each of the browsers. I'm only going to create the animation so you can see. And then go ahead and just create one of these for that animation. Because if I create all of those, it's just going to take too long. And um, I think you guys kind of get the idea. If you don't, don't worry. I'm going to leave a link in the description to the code pen for this project. So you can just copy and paste it. All right, now let's create the animation for the fade in that comes in from the top, which is going to be for the center image. So we have to do the same thing pretty much. So we have to copy all of these. Well, we don't have to copy those, but we are to save time. And we're going to change the name from fade in left to fade in top. All right, and we're going to copy this last one here. This is the only one that I am going to create for the last two animations. So let's change this to fade and top. And for this one, we're going to change the X here to a Y. All right, and that created the animation that comes in from the top for the centered image. Don't forget to create one of these for all of the browsers like we did for the previous image. All right, let's copy this. And we're going to change this from fade and top to fade and right. And this as well. And we're going to change this back to an X and this is going to be 50 instead of negative 50. 
All right, and that should do it. So now when we refresh the page, this one's coming in from the left, this one from the right, and then this one from the top. So that's how you create this animation. Uh, I know that it might have seemed more difficult than it actually was, and it's really just because we have to add the keyframes for each one of the different browsers. But if it wasn't for that, it's really very simple to create this animation. And even creating the keyframes for e each of the browsers is, is pretty simple. All you have to do is just copy and paste and, you know, change a couple things here and there. But that's going to be it for this tutorial. Hope you guys learned a lot. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video.